Every year following the Nobel Prize award ceremonies is the Nobel Banquet. And the key component of any banquet is of course the food. Fredrik Eriksson is a chef and restaurateur, and he serves as one of two gastronomical advisors to the Nobel Foundation. And he says the work on the menu starts far in advance of the actual banquet. Uh, around Mars, then we have a meeting together with the city hall and the Nobel Committee, and we talk about what's happened at the last dinner, what was good, what was bad. And then in April, we start up and uh, have three different kinds of menu. And then in May, we try three different kinds of menu, really sit down and eat and have a round the table, a nice discussion like that. And then in August, we invite a Nobel committee and we serve them two, two kinds of menu and uh, talk to them what they think, what they prefer for the menu. The menu is always kept secret until the eve of the ceremony. And while it needs to accommodate the different tastes of the around 1,300 guests who attend the event at Stockholm City Hall, it's also important that the menu has a touch of Scandinavia. I think it's uh, it's important for us to show the the world that we have an own kitchen in Sweden. But also it's uh, very important that we have a, a menu which is a bit international as well. We have a lot of different kinds of guests. The dinner takes around four hours, and to make sure everything runs smoothly, it follows a very strict schedule. The whole dinner is like a perfect schedule like that. The service with the champagne will take for three minutes, and then uh, if you want some more champagne, you cannot sit up there and I will have to have a glass one more time. Uh, Everything is like that.